Hi, I'm Stan Oda, Product Manager for the Shockline family of Vector Networking Analyzers from Enritsu. Today I'd like to talk to you about key aspects to consider when selecting a production DNA. For any production application, total cost of test is of course the priority. Beyond the acquisition cost of the VNA and the measurement speed, things to consider would also include durability of the VNA for maximum uptime, stability for maximum efficiency in between calibrations, physical size so that you can make the best use of your test floor space, and your ease of use, which will speed up your deployment and your development of applications. So in terms of acquisition cost, the key element, of course, is the specification. You don't want to over-specify or under-specify the VNA for the target application. The typical temptation, however, is to over-specify it in case you have some unexpected uh, requirements down the line. But this can be very expensive for especially higher volume production. Stability is a key item to consider for VNAs because the stability will determine how long you can go between calibrations. And that is going to directly affect your uptime uh, on the production floor. Durability, or the time um, the VNA is out of the shop, is also a key element so that uh, if it's more durable, you get more use out of it and a better cost of test. Ease of use in both the graphical and the uh, programming interface is also key to speed up development of applications and switchovers on the production line between different devices, maximizing your uptime and your increasing your efficiency. Another aspect to consider is the ease of use, both, both in the graphical display and your programming environment. To maximize the deployment of the VNA, you want applications developed. And if there's a common software interface between different, app, uh, different versions of a VNA, you maximize your efficiency on the floor and increase the number of applications that you can run on the production line. You can see here the same application running on two different models of a particular uh, VNA, so you can go from one to another more easily. One thing that is often uh, overlooked in terms of production uh, VNAs is the physical size of the VNA. Test floor space is always at a, at a premium, so to maximize the efficiency, you want uh, the equipment to be as small as possible. So here you have an example of a very small VNA that uh, can be used in a test rack and take up minimum space. You can have a multi-port VNA here that also is a compact single chassis that would also maximize uh, your efficiency on the floor and lower your cost of test. So for more information, please drop by the booth at IMS at booth 1116 or take a look at our website, www.anritsu.com, for more information about our entire line of VNAs and how they might fit into your production needs. Thanks for watching.